it, Amanda Profazer and the course is Theater Appreci or Theater Appreciation 101 and I'm the assistant costume design faculty here at uh, UWBC. And Theater Appreci is, uh, is a humanities general education course. So it is a class that hopefully by the end of the semester, it's you get to know a little bit about what um, goes into theater. What is theater? Is theater relevant still today? Um, we talk a little bit about different kinds of plays that we break down theater into at the very beginning. What is art? And then towards each chapter is broken down into then playwriting and directing and acting and design and creativity and musicals. So it's a broad depth of, of theater. In that class, we talk about creativity and I open that up to being creative and I have them first draw something that just, just to draw something. And then I have them then draw something specifically. I give them, I said, draw, you know, a mermaid. And the whole purpose is for them to, to understand creativity, how creativity works. I think that as a culture, we think of creativity as only in people that are crafty or um, are really artsy and that creativity has a spectrum of, of what creativity is and that we all have creativity in us and um, how important creativity is in everyday life and problem solving, how you can work and look at things differently in every aspect of a job, not just in the arts. Um, so that's what that lecture is talking about. There's a lighting designer, there's the prop designer, there's the costume designer, there's the director, there's the actor. We all have to come together to help problem solve this show because it's one large problem. And we all have to come, come together with, with our experience, with our um, creativity, and with our problem solving. I would have to say that, there, that as a theater major, you really understand and come away with, in, in your degree, the ability to problem solve, and problem solve quickly. The title itself, it says Theater Appreci, Theater Appreciation, um, and I want to make lifelong theater goers. My class has a spectrum of students, students that are freshmen and students that are graduating. I have students that have been involved in theater, have been in plays, have seen plays, understands that, and then I have students that have never seen a play. So the first time they actually see a play is in my class. And so what I'm hoping for is that each student can understand what goes into theater, why theater is incredibly important in our culture and important in our society, what that it brings to our community, um, how then even just to be able to watch a movie and to be able to pull out themes, be like, oh, that's what this movie is, or this is what this, this uh, playwright or this director is trying to do or say, and um, how is that applicable in my life and in my community and in my world. So that's really what, at the end of 16 weeks, I want them to come out with the fact that they have some understanding of what theater is and what, um, how it is involved in their lives, even if they don't actually go to theater. And maybe that they'll go see a show. You know, maybe they'll, you know, see a poster and be like, oh my gosh, we talked about that in, in class. I, like, I want to go see that. Or even if, if they don't, that they remember how exciting the, um, the class was. I try to make it really have a lot of energy. Um, I try to tell a lot of stories because theater is really important in my life. It is my voice in this world. And I also talk about that in class, that what is their voice and how are they going to bring their voice in this, um, in this world, especially with young adults, right? You guys are graduating, and when are you going to go out to the world, and what are you going to say? So that's what I hope for.